Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video is subject, How to Treat Dry Skin on a Cat's Lower Back. Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Dry skin on a cat's lower back can be due to dehydration and a lack of humidity. Improve the airflow in your home and encourage your cat to drink more water. Ensure that your cat is getting enough protein and omega-3 fatty acid. Brush your cat's fur regularly, especially if it's arthritic or overweight, as it'll struggle to groom itself. Dandruff is often the byproduct of dry skin, and when your cat's skin begins to dry out, it'll start to slowly flake away and fall off. Felines with dry skin often have the most significant issues on their back near the tail region. Dandruff is obviously most visibly noted in cats with black fur. As for dry skin as a whole, it can be a source of major discomfort at times, and itching of the affected areas can only lead to more discomfort and sore spots on the skin. In order to find a proper resolution, it's vital to find the primary cause. Dry and flaky skin can appear for a host of reasons, and different reasons can require different solutions. Some common explanations for dry skin can include obesity, overweight cats struggle to reach their backs and tails while grooming. Next we have arthritis, joint problems can restrict a cat's grooming ability. What about allergies? An allergic reaction to food, plastic, or dust can lead to dry and inflamed skin. Next we have diet, cats as we noted a bit earlier rely on protein and omega-3 fatty acid for healthy skin. Without it, your cat could suffer from dry skin and dandruff. Next, we have humidity. The hotter and drier a cat's environment, the more likely the skin is to dry out. What about dehydration? Cats often fail to drink enough water and thus grow dehydrated, drying out the skin in the process. Next, we have a fungal infection. Ringworms specifically can lead to dry, flaky, and reddening and itchy skin. And finally, parasites. Certain types of parasites and mites can cause dry skin and the development of what is often referred to as walking dandruff. If you have found yourself wondering why your cat seems to have dry skin in those winter months, well, you're certainly not alone. Tis the season for dry skin, unfortunately. Due to a lack of humidity and the increased usage of artificial heat sources, this can cause a cat to lose roughly 25% of its total skin moisture Dry skin and dandruff, the hot topic of the day, will occur unless lost moisture can be replaced. Even though we've mentioned the dry skin primarily occurs in the lower back and tail region, it can develop anywhere. It's just more pronounced at the lower back and tail. That's very important to know. So it's not just those two regions, it's everywhere. Dry skin can impact cats of all ages, and those winter months can be the toughest to manage. And right on cue, let's talk about management. So much of this process deals with the don'ts, the big red flags to avoid. If you have determined that your cat has dry skin and dandruff, the first thing you must know is that products designed for your own skin should be completely off limits. While they would make for an easy go-to selection, they should be completely left alone. The skin of a feline simply cannot withstand the products designed for us. Simply stated, not all skin is created equal. And that's really all you need to know. Another measure to avoid is frequent bathing. While you could be of the mind that water will hydrate the skin, over time, it will only serve to increase the dryness and the cracking. The best you can do on this front is to help your cat with their grooming needs, brushing, and the application of unscented wet wipes designed for feline use can be quite helpful. That's the management side of things. Now let's talk about those all-important actual remedies. Now that you know what you can't do, let's talk about what you can. And we'll start with olive oil. 
what is known as nature's moisturizer. It can serve to soothe dry skin and flaky skin. Apply two tablespoons and massage it right on your cat's fur and skin. Always make sure to hit those known problem areas. After roughly 20 minutes, rinse the oil from the fur. Use this application no more than once every 14 days. Next we have hydration. While convincing your cat to drink water can be much more difficult than it would appear on the surface, water consumption is a vital weapon against dry skin. In respect to positive techniques, change the water regularly so that it stays fresh, keep the water away from food and litter, and make it a point to use water that is pure and clean, free of chemicals. And if all else fails, try a water fountain that is designed for pet use. Cats are intrigued by movement and can often be tempted to drink water that is actively flowing. Another way to treat and prevent dry skin is by means of proper humidity and airflow within your home. Keep your home comfortable, but not too hot. Make sure there's a steady air current within the home always. Make sure it's constant. Consider using a humidifier in given areas where your cat resides the most as a way to keep your pet's skin moist without totally changing the overall conditions of your home as a whole. And finally, let's talk about weight loss and how important it is and can be. Felines are quite fussy when it comes to cleanliness. Obesity, especially coupled with arthritis, can make once standard grooming a daunting task. All of this can lead to, among other things, dry skin and dandruff. Keeping your cat as fit as possible and within a healthy weight can allow your pet to better manage its own fur and skin, thus resulting in better natural care and the decreased chance of severe dry skin. If your cat is in visible distress due to dry skin and is potentially dealing with open wounds caused by constant scratching, your pet will need more than you can offer from a home remedy standpoint. During this time, you'll need the intervention of your vet as medical care will be critical. Common treatments of the professional variety can include creams and ointments, prescription shampoos, omega-3 fatty acids. This will often be hallmarked by a change in diet and or the introduction of supplements. And speaking of a diet change, a specialized diet as a whole could be in order. Amino acids are the building blocks that serve to develop supple skin, high-quality meats, and potentially a specialized diet can be prescribed. Before we close things out today, just know that dry and flaky skin can pose an issue, but it can be resolved with lifestyle changes and proper treatment, either home remedies or professional care. From your standpoint, it's all about being proactive. Many times you can get out in front of this issue long before it ever becomes a problem. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.